Hello, hello. Welcome to a new video. My name is Cece. I'm an illustrator artist based in New York City. This is already a very long video. I have edited all of the footage except for the outro bit, which I'm going to film in a second. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you're interested in um, my experience vending at Oticon and at Stationery Fest and at one more little local market I just added on at, at, at the end for like a nice seven day a week of vending title. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, uh, keep watching. Also, um, really quickly, I have plushies. I made plushies. I have um, these two little friends. This is Sesame and this is Boba. Um, they are in. They are currently being kickstarted uh, over on Kickstarter. <laughs> We're about sixty percent funded, and I would really, really love to get these funded. So, um, in case you haven't seen my plushie video, I'm gonna. I'm gonna link it somewhere up here and show you the thumbnail. But yeah, these are my little plushies. Um, they are magnetic, they're really soft, they're really lovely. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Hello, hello. Um, okay, so this is the mess that I'm currently dealing with, but I am testing out my Oticon setup. Um, what is very frustrating is that Oticon can't determine like they don't, they don't guarantee whether or not it's a six foot table or an eight foot table. So I'm testing both setups. Annoying. All right. But this is my six foot setup. Um, the, the Otacon guidelines say you can go up to five feet above your table. So I have my thing five, five cubes high instead of four cubes. So it's a little bit taller, which means I could fit more stuff. I still couldn't fit everything though. I don't know how I've managed to accumulate so much crap. <laughs> Um, but I am testing out, I'm trying out, um, bigger prints at Oticon. So I ordered 10 each of these 11 by 14, uh, prints. And then I still have my regular eight by tens. I have more eight by tens down the side. Um, a couple five by sevens sticker sheets down here, desk mat. I'm going to have my tote bag hang off the edge of the table, which is not ideal because it'll get covered, but I need the space. Um, and then I have fan art prints, small fan art prints there, and then stickers, my usual stickers and my bookmarks. Um, I am not, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna bring all the different sizes that I have for each of these print designs. Like I have like that one, um, ooh. Ooh, that rain one, that one I made for my calendar, for my 2025 calendar. Uh, yeah, so I have it in a small size as well, but I'm, I obviously don't have space to put the small version up. So I'm gonna just, like designate it in my uh, catalog that I have multiple sizes and I think that'll be fine. Um, I also have sun catchers and enamel pins hanging off from the top of my little window. My lanyards are there. I'm gonna have my uh, hair claws and my extra bow plushies on the little shelf um, where my window is. Um, but I think this looks pretty good. Uh, it has as much stuff as I could possibly fit. Um, I've made new signs. I think they look really cute. I've made new little uh, signs, pricing signs for my display because I've changed up my logo. Um, you might have noticed that, but uh, CC's Art Cafe is now spelled CCS Art Cafe because of social media issues. And I changed my branding to incorporate my little puppy. Um, so all of the little signs are my dog. <laughs> but that's the six foot setup. I have a little bit of overhang, which is kind of ugly, low key. I don't really like it, but um, I'm able to do the overhang because I only, I, this display is exactly five foot across and the table is six feet. So I'm letting myself do the overhang. Um, I can make it six across, but the six across, um, I might accidentally, if the tables are flush against each other, I'll end up putting my part of my display on my neighbor's table. And I would really rather not do that. Um, a lot of people do it. A lot of people just like have a little bit hanging over and I think it's fine. It wouldn't bother me if my neighbor did that to me, but I just, I wouldn't do it to anybody else. I feel like it's rude. <laughs> so I'm going to put up an eight foot display now which is going to be seven across and test that okay this is the eight foot setup it's not ideal there's more like empty bits um and i could fit more but it's fine uh this is this is probably what i'm gonna do i'll probably space that out a little more so it looks less like cramped in that corner and like open like with all the extra space there but the amount of stuff is the same it's just that it fits an eight foot instead of a six foot 
super annoying, but I'm glad I tested it because now I know that I'm bringing like the right amount of stuff, like different types of designs. Boba. Boba, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> we made it to DC <laughs> and we're waiting for an Uber and it's I think literally a hundred degrees. <laughs> we're all set up. <laughs> My little logo sign is so dinky up there. Um, we're all set up at Otakon. I am tired. It's 500 degrees outside. Also, I brought my camera, but I forgot my SIM card somehow. So I feel really smart right now, but I think it looks good. Um, we got eight foot tables instead of six foot tables. And I think it turned out all right. I managed to kind of like, I zhuzhed it up a little bit. I changed the layout a little bit from when I did my test at home so that it could feel more full. And then um, tomorrow I might put small versions of my big prints on the sides like I normally do. And then also we'll have bows here and hair claws here and my little catalog menu thing here. But yeah, we're all set up. Uh, Marianne is all the way across. Uh, somewhere over there. <laughs> we're very far away from each other. It's very sad, but it's fine. <sighs> all right. It was an adventure getting here, but we took the train and I'm tired. And my little sister is here. I'm not gonna film her because she's a minor, but just trust me, she's currently squatting on the ground eating candy, looking at her phone, licking her fingers. <laughs> brought a knitting project to work on and I just realized that the back half of the sock is supposed to be stocking knit and not the like cable pattern thing that I've been doing so now I have two mismatched socks <laughs> I'm stupid and I already redid this one because I fucked up last time should I redo it again I think I should redo it again I'm stupid <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> I think you should answer a little clip up. <laughs> We're here. This is the back of our setup. Um, so I made shelves across the back. So here I have all my tote bags. Here are the big prints. Hair claws are here that um, for when we need to refill this little area. Business cards, bows. Stickers are here. Enamel pins are kind of in this jumbled mess because I didn't have a bin that had dividers. <laughs> and then here are all of the big prints, the sticker sheets, the, uh, what are these called? Bookmarks, bookmarks, sun catchers, baggies to wrap the prints in. This is the big one, the small one. And then these are the large eight by 10 prints. And then desk mats are here, lanyards, water, snack bags yeah hopefully it'll be a good day do you have anything to say Hara? I understand why you like the container store <laughs> yeah I love the container store Junimos they're so squishy too cute <laughs> this is flesh sprout look at the blue chicken it's sparkly so cute I love this Totoro art. I kind of want it. Look how pretty. This is Marianne's table with Sue Crystal. and Crystal. And they all look so cute together. 
I want my buddies to look cute with me. Sad. I like Boba Cat and Dongo Cat. I've already shown Sue from Brooklyn Comic Con. This is so cute. The sunflower shark? Hello? Capybara. Capybara, capybara, capybara. <laughs> one day four. Look how pretty, look how pretty this one is. And the strawberry bunnies and the clover bunnies. And I really like these. They look like um, porcelain. I really like these hats. I can't wear them because my head is too big, but I really like just a little guy. And I really like the mushroom beret. No thoughts head empty. It's friggin' cute. <gasps> the beanies. So cute. This one, I love this. I hate telling you, but I love the print. The tea time? It's 12... 18. 12 12.17. I was trying to get my watch to work on your arm. 12.17, we're about 45 minutes away from the beginning of the day. Uh, Friday is 1 to 9. Those are the hours. We have them on our badges, which is good because all the information on the hours for Otakon are really confusing. But for Artist Alley, it's 1 to 9 today. Um, hopefully it'll be good. Fingers crossed. Everything I've heard has been that it's going to be really good. So It's about 3.30, so it's been about two and a half hours of the convention. Um, I think that placement actually does matter a lot. A lot of people said that placement didn't matter, but Marianne is all the way over there, like across the hall, um, near where the entrances are. And she made back the cost of the table within two hours. I have not made back the cost of like the table on the trip yet. So I'm a little bit jelly, but um, either it's placement or my art sucks, one or the other. This is Hara's hot Cheeto invention. <laughs> yeah. Can you feed me one? Yeah. It's 5.11. Um, we have finally uh, broke even, basically. Uh, I have covered the cost of the train, the hotel, and the table. I have not co covered the cost of Hera's badge or the Ubers to and from Moynihan uh, or any of the food. But basically, we're good. We're good to go. So I can relax a little bit. Um, the traffic has been coming in waves at the start of the hour. It's been pretty, like silent for most of it and then it gets busy like near the end of the hour and then repeat but yeah i'm glad that I'm... hi yes i do the tote bags are 32 i forgot what i was saying but basically profit time <laughs> that's what hara said i was saying so <laughs> yeah i think I thought it would be busier because everyone talked about how Otakon was super like busy and good and whatever. Yeah, so I thought it would be busier, but overall I'm glad we made back the cost of everything on the first day. So tomorrow should be the busiest day. Saturdays are usually the busiest day. Um, so hopefully tomorrow will be good. Similar to today, if not better. Um, and then I can just chill. It's 5.50. <laughs> Um, we've bought, we've sold pretty much one of everything except nobody has bought a bow yet and nobody has bought my Star Trek fan art. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I like my Star Trek art. Um, yeah. We've fully made back the cost of everything, like the table and Harris badge and the Ubers and stuff. So I'm feeling pretty good. I can just sit and not stress anymore for the rest of the day. And we still have three more hours for today. So hopefully, I think supposedly it gets crowded at around eight when the dealer's room closes. Um, cause, cause the dealer's room closes and then everybody funnels into Artist Alley. So we'll see. There's been like 20 free runs. I've seen so many free runs. Hera is putting hot Cheetos in her sandwich. Yummy. She says it's great. <laughs> Someone bought a bow, and then I hit my head. <laughs> my head hurts. 7.30. Is that right? 7.27, yeah. 7.30. Um, my little sister got picked up by my mom, so I'm all by myself now. I have been singing to myself. Oh, by myself. 
How does it know the song? I'm disappointed in the children. Um, yeah. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. Back to the hotel. But we still have an hour and a half. It's been pretty slow. I think the corner placement has been pretty not amazing. It's 8.30. I finally stole sold the Star, Star Trek print. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. It's... I feel like I'm disheveled. I'm definitely disheveled. Am I? I feel really greasy. Yeah, me too. Okay, wait. I don't know, I'm not that bad. It could be worse. It could be worse. 9.30, we are done with day one. I did break 2K, so I'm fairly happy. Marianne said that a bunch of people asked her. Hi. Good. Yeah, so um, Marianne said people were looking for me, and I'm pretty sure none of the people who were looking for me got to my table because I'm so far in the back corner. So um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to make a really quick post uh, for Instagram stories and for Twitter to just show where my table was because no one is getting all the way down to my corner of the convention space. Um, but I did finally sell a Star Trek print. Uh, the person who bought it said that Voyager was their favorite show, and I texted Alan about it, and Alan said Voyager is the worst one, so <laughs> I need all your I need all your hot takes in the comments below. In the comments. Yeah. I've only seen Next Generation and most of Deep Space Nine and whatever that new one is called. Strange New Worlds, yeah. And the Lower Decks one. That's all I've seen. <laughs> I've seen that one movie where Chris Pine is still young. Anyway, Mary had a better day than me. But she said that I was also slow in her corner. Because she was on the... Because I'm on... So... I'm on one far end of the convention of Artist Alley and she's on the other end. But I think she has still has more traffic than I do. But the best traffic was kind of in the middle rows. I already started eating, but I got salmon rice. And I'm thrilled. I love rice. <laughs> I'm just here for the rice. I got chocolate rice. I'm so hungry. We survived day one. Survived day one. Yay! I finished my food. We're eating outside. I've gotten at least four to five bug bites. I need DC to get on New York's level and start spraying the shit out of the city because I'm suffering. I'm so itchy. Hotel breakfast. You're blurry. <laughs> You're not blurry now. How tired are you? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're so tired. We're so tired. It's fine. <laughs> My table's all the way over there in that corner. Day two. You're gonna survive. Eleven to nine. Over the way, he's gonna eat all this food in my backpack. Sue and Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> and they'll eat it over your dead body. <laughs> Okay, we're all set up. Um, I wanted to give a tally of everything I sold yesterday. So I only have uh, seven totes left. Um, I brought 12. 
ones on display and i sold four yesterday i brought 10 um 10 dust mats plus one for the display and i only have three left so i sold a bunch of the dust mats they're under here um and anything else i sold a bunch of i only brought five bows because i only have 10 of her left anyway and i sold three of them yesterday because i only have no i sold two of them yesterday because i only have three left and i brought like a whole package I brought a whole package of hair claws and I sold a bunch yesterday. I was kind of shocked. A lot of people like the hair claws. Um, so yeah, overall, I hope today's a better day than yesterday. Um, I also changed the display slightly. I added these onto the wings because I have a corner booth. I, it was like a lottery thing and I happened to get a corner booth. So I put some more prints here because I've noticed a lot of people were walking from this aisle, like where the bathrooms are. The bathrooms are along this wall and along that wall all the way over there. So I added some prints here and then I also, because people were not really realizing that I had a lot of prints in multiple sizes, because um, I don't have any signage that says that prints come in multiple sizes. So I put um, some of the duplicates that are smaller on little wings. So when people are talking to me, they'll be able to see that. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it looks okay. I think it looks good. I'm tired. I really hope today's a better day than yesterday. But again, I'm going to try to not be too critical, I guess. I think that I think that overall I like I should be happy. I made back the cost of the table and the hotel and like the Ubers and stuff. Like I paid for everything, so the trip is free. Free. Um so everything else is profit. So like even if I only make like two sales, I'll be fine, you know? I just, I think that my expectations were really high because everyone talked about how this is such a good con and I thought it was just all right. But again, my placement is really bad. Um, I showed you the walk to, to my table. I'm all the way in the corner. And Marianne said she got recognized a bunch of times yesterday for being my friend um, from my vlogs. And she directed people to come here and either they didn't get here or they didn't tell me that they watch my my videos so and marianne said yesterday someone was dressed as an apple and was looking for me no apple girl came so i'm really far in the in the corner i'm gonna post i made this like shitty little graphic i'll, I'll show it on the vlog but i made this shitty little graphic last night on my phone so i'm gonna post that with my table number and my booth photo um, on Instagram stories and on Twitter and I'm gonna post it on the YouTube community thing um, So people know where to find me Hopefully it's a better day <laughs> This booth has cute little shopping baskets and I really like this snail mail sticker Grow my child <laughs> And look at the gotcha mark Look at the bok choy pin Mook art this is a really cute business card too. The airplane, paper airplane. This 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 person has this really cute shirt. I think it's a shirt. Or an apron. I think it's a shirt. But it says a soup to cure your weary heart. And I really like it. I love that. Also, I really like this like graphic style. Like the colored stuff is also really pretty. I want to be good at art. Look at these socks. Look at the shark socks. Look at the yeehaw socks. Yeehaw! yeehaw. <laughs> Marianne's just holding a bag of candy. Marianne's. She's bribing people. It's Halloween candy. It's on theme. Oh, because you're a ghost artist? I was like, it's not Halloween. <laughs> August, which officially means that it's fall, according to me. I also think it's fall. <laughs> I'm running back to my table because it's 10.55, but I got two stickers from Moon Spice. Nicole, I love her stuff. So cute. Look at this boba frog. Yeah. And Marianne also got two stickers and I paid. <laughs> I'm sneaky. A little update. I have no idea if you can hear me over whatever is going on back there. Um, but it is more than halfway through the day. Uh, it's almost five. It's 4.45, so it's almost five. Um, I have broken 100 sales 
uh, just now. I finished, I sold out of my desk mats that I brought. I brought 11, including the display, and I even sold a display desk mat. So I'm fully out of desk mats. I only have two bows left. I only have two tote bags left. So overall selling pretty well. I brought like a whole stack of hair cloths and I only have three left. Um, so I'm not gonna complain too much. I do think that my placement has really sabotaged my sales. Um, I had someone come up to me and say that they follow me on YouTube. So thank you. Thank you for, for, for coming and finding me. But she said that she looked for me all day and she had her friends helping her look for me. And like it took them all, it took them until like three o'clock to find me. And uh, Artist Alley opened at 11. So I feel very much that I'm being sabotaged by my placement. I, yesterday I was definitely like, oh my God, maybe my art is just bad. But today I think I'm pretty sure it's just, it's just placement. Um, so yeah, overall, I think Otakon has been a good con, but I also think that one of my sticker sheets fell. I also think that um, it would have been better if my placement were better. I'm gonna go fix my display. <laughs> it is 8.15. I have not peed since about 10 o'clock this morning, and I cannot afford to lose a single sale, so I am suffering. Um, someone dropped off snacks which is really really nice they said they follow me on socials um so they dropped off snacks and i gave them a free sticker so thank you very much for bringing me snacks uh yeah overall i would say not bad not as great as i expected um uh, but i'm still happy um i don't know what's going on why is there so much noise <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I am also, I'm completely losing it. It's fine. I'm so tired. <laughs> and I really need to pee. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Me got this. I got the same thing, but with Caesar salad. I miss eating green things. I've had so many chips today. <laughs> End of day two. My voice is gone. I just realized my voice sounds hoarse. It doesn't. It doesn't? It sounds normal. It sounds crazy in my head. Okay, anyway, end of day two. We got back to the hotel from dinner. We got, fucking what did we get? Chicken sandwiches. <laughs> and what do I have to say? How did the day go? The day was fine. It was not as good as everybody said that it was going to be, but we've figured out that it's because of my placement. My table neighbor said that um, they had a friend that was in uh, row H last year, and um, row H last year was just facing the wall. There was nobody across the aisle from them, and so like that, uh, that row was just dead. So at least I'm getting sales. <laughs> Um, Marianne and I comparing notes, we sold a similar amount of stickers, but we did not sell a similar amount of like anything else. Um, so my stickers are doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. And I think overall, so far I've made about 5.8K across two days. Queen! You've made so much money. Anyway, <laughs> so far I've made- You made that much money in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? I fucking forgot. Uh, yeah, I made about 5.8k across the two days, uh, 2k on day one, and the rest this day. Um, so I think overall I would have been really happy if my expectations were not as high as they were. People were, like, saying that I didn't bring enough stuff, that, like, they needed to bring 50 of each small print, um, and then some. And, pe like, there were people talking about how they had to go to, like, FedEx to to print extra prints. Not me, baby. <laughs> and I did not bring 50 of anything because I do not stock 50 of anything in my store because I don't sell enough stuff. So yeah, on the plus side, I do not need to restock any of my big prints for Anime NYC. And maybe they'll sell out there. <laughs> um, do we have any else? Oh, also we compared our sales like by the hour and um, and row A, you said that everybody was there at like the first hour, and our first hour was completely dead. I made a hundred dollars in the first hour, which is no money. 
basically. Um, but my sales were like, I think more consistent across the day, but just not as high. And then I think Marianne's fluctuated more. <laughs> Ski slope down. <laughs> down, no, down. Down this way. Started out a bad day. <laughs> Um, some notable things that happened today. Somebody recognized the Twisby on my books and stationery sticker sheet, and I was fucking thrilled. And we talked about fountain pens. Um, so if they ever watch this video, shout out to them. Twisbys are the best fountain pen. They recognized. I tried. I explained. I described my dream pen to this person, and she recognized it immediately when I started describing it, and I was so excited. You got called ma'am. I got called ma'am. I am now old enough to be called ma'am. <laughs> and it was by a man. And then, like, two, two transactions later, another man called me miss, and that felt better. <laughs> I don't think I'm old enough to be a ma'am yet. <laughs> Am I? I think I'm old enough at heart to be a ma'am. But I don't think I mean, I'm old you enough. Felt a grandma vibe. I'm not old enough out here. What do you think they're going to call you tomorrow when you bring your knitting? <laughs> ma'am! <laughs> we're going to Tate! Hello, we're going to. It's day three. We're going to my favorite bakery. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> we're going to my favorite bakery in Boston. That's. Also here, apparently. I'm very excited. I haven't been in like about six years, so I don't know if it's still good. Why are you hiding? You're gonna be mad at the back of your head. Oh no! <laughs> um, I slept about five hours. Four hours? Five hours? I didn't sleep. I got, I got the ick from my blanket because of a texture thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm crazy. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> We're getting coffee and chai lattes. Are you filming me or you? I'm filming you. <laughs> you were the one talking. What do you mean? Well, because you weren't saying anything, so I was like, I'll talk and then film you. I need coffee, I'm not awake yet. I got a baguette and a cookie and a pan au chocolat and a monkey bread, and I have my knitting, so even if I make no sales today, I'm gonna be very happy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna last a week. We've done two days. I have seven days, I counted, I have seven days of, of, of markets and conventions. Basically back to back. I have two days in between. So I don't know how I'm gonna survive. My hands are falling apart. I had to put like cream on all of my eczema because <laughs> yesterday I texted Marianne and I was like, a chunk of skin just peeled off my finger. I'm fine. <laughs> I am fine, but there I'm I'm flicking off. This is the reality of conventions. Your body just falls apart and you just live with it. And I have five more days to go, including today. <laughs> bloggy vloggy. No, I don't know where to look. Now I'm just confused. Oh look at your vlog. <laughs> Day three. So we sold out of dust mats and tote bags that were originally there and there. So I just filled it in with more of the small prints and the medium prints, what I've been calling large um, on both sides. I guess it's kind of dumb that tulips on both sides, but whatever. And then the rest looks fine. Um, we didn't sell out of pretty much anything. We sold out of the dust mats, we sold out of the tote bags, we sold out out of the hair cloth that I brought. Um, we only have one bow left. I've only brought five, so it's not really selling out. And then we sold out of the science sticker. But yeah, I'm ready 
to not do anything today. So I got myself some little souvenirs. We had a little chance to walk around Dealer's Den, so I got myself a banana plushie. Um, this is gonna go, this is a gift for Alan and a gift for Boba. Um, I think you make cute. And then I got this from, from, Sug from Sugar Lick. Um, they're really nice and I got this just a little guy ball cap it fits my head which is shocking and then we saw blush sprout and I got this cute little pin for my pin banner um, I've accidentally bent the backing card but yeah my pin banner I'm so excited yeah I'm so tired and I have pastries we went to Tate and I have a chai latte that's almost finished and I have my knitting <laughs> I brought my knitting because I know it's gonna be slow. <laughs> it's 11.24. It has been a little bit busier actually for me, but I finished my heel flap. <laughs> I've gone weak. It's only been like two hours. What's wrong with me? It is 1.50. I've caught up to where I started frogging. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this. We're done. They just announced it. I forgot to record the announcement. It's fine. We're done. I'm taking stuff down. I'm tired. And I knit more than half of the foot on my sock. <laughs> I've been very productive. 325, packed up within 25 minutes by myself. I was going pretty slow actually. Um, everyone else still packing up. I'm gonna go find Marianne. I'm ready to go. I'm fucking tired. I'm shaking from exhaustion. This is fine. We're back in the hotel. Um, we finished packing up pretty quickly. Marianne took a little bit longer, but that's fine. I was looking for my stolen item. Yeah, her tote bag got stolen. Her, like, personal one, which is really rude of people. I don't know who stole it, but not cool. Guys, don't steal shit. Um, uh, overall, today was pretty good. Uh, it was not as slow as I thought it was going to be. Um, the beginning, like, two hours or so of, uh, the day was busier than my beginning two hours of Saturday, which is, like, unheard of. Um, but I think it's just because, I think people who had, like, already seen the first part of Artist Alley came, like, to the back, uh, immediately. And so, like, we had a little bit more of a rush at the beginning. Um, overall, it was fine. I knit like a lot of my sock <laughs> and I once I knew once I like got over the the expectation that Otakon was supposed to be like really really good and I was supposed to like make a ton of money and sell out and whatever like in the end I'll, I'll show number I'll talk about numbers like at the end of the vlog because this is gonna be a long vlog but uh, in the end like I'm happy I made like a decent amount of money I made a good amount of money like I made more than I would normally make uh, in a month like at a real job so <laughs> So I'm fine. Um, I'm just complaining because people were like, you're going to make five figures and sell out of everything. And I did not sell out of everything. Um, but I did sell out of a couple stickers. I sold out my Oran High School Host Club sticker, the Kiss Kiss Fall in Love one. Um, and I sold out of my Science Cat. And I'm going to order them from Sticker App before Anime NYC because I think those uh, were like, the Science Cat does really well. Oran High School Host Club sticker does really well. So I'm going to... I'm, I'm not going to discontinue them, even though I am tempted to, to discontinue stuff all the time. Um, and I'm going to have to reorder some prints. I am I sold out of a couple uh, small prints because I didn't have a lot of stock left. And uh, I'm going to restock some of them because I still like them for the most part. I'm going to restock the tulips one. I'm going to restock the greenhouse one and the relaxation one, the bathtub one. And then there's one that everybody, a lot of people like the small print of, the fireplace one. I'm going to post it. I hate this print. <laughs> Please buy this print. I don't want it. Um, the small one sold out a while ago. And I still have big ones. And I don't want it. Goodbye. Uh, do you have any thoughts? Marianne had a Capri Sun. They're gross. Hera bought Capri Sun, and now we, we're stuck with I, this box of Capri Sun. It's because we don't have, I don't have any water. We're out of water. We didn't buy any water today. We just bought caffeine. And then, for the first time in my life, <laughs> the tea made me pee. <laughs> you got a chai. You got I a got nice a chai. chai. I got fake tea. I'm so <laughs> Chai's not fake tea. I'm sorry. Shut, Shut up, you vlog. You are done. I'm, someone looked at my 
friends today, this couple, and um, it was a, a girl and a guy couple, and the girl was saying that she liked the tea prints, and then the guy said, do you like the Chinese tea or the white people tea? And I sat there as a Chinese person trying to figure out which print was the white people tea. It's the tulip one, which isn't tea, it's coffee. Some people bought my ghost coffee sticker and called it tea. They're like, I want the tea ghost. And I said, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, coffee. Um, and I sold a hundred bookmarks. So I'm glad that I cut as many bookmarks as I did because I was like, I'm, I, I wanted to die <laughs> cutting all the bookmarks, but I'm going to have to cut more um, of the bookshelf, the plant shelf bookmark for stationary fest which i'm not thrilled about because it means i'm gonna spend monday and tuesday listening to my silhouette but it's fine i'm happy i spaced out you're gonna see it in the vlog footage <laughs> going like this knit the top, I mean sew the top together. Ta-da! I knit a whole sock. I frogged a whole sock and then re-knit the whole sock at Otakon. <laughs> she slid! Hi! 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 stationary fast. Um, this is day one. I feel okay. I did a lot of resting yesterday, so I feel okay. Not too tired today. Um, when I got here, there was a huge line outside and it's pouring rain out, so I'm legitimately shocked. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, I hope it goes well. I have, I, last night when I set up, I snooped around and I looked at like all of the tables that had already set up and I am screwed. I want to buy everything. So I need to make money so that I can buy things because then it's free, maybe? Yeah, um, but Thousand Skies is here. I want, they're a sponsor of Stationary Fest. I want one of everything. Uh, Traveler's Company is here. Do I need a new Traveler's Notebook? No. Do I want one? Yes. Mugo Bunny is here. Hyped about that. Um, there is a brand that is has this banner that's promoing this pink fountain pen and it's so pretty and i know it's already i know it's gonna be like 300 dollars. i can't buy it but i want it it's pink it's my pink wait i show you oh that's my pink here today and here. I got pins for us so I'm gonna take that one and she's gonna take that one and we're BFFs little update um, it's day two of stationary fest you want to be in the vlog you're already in the vlog <laughs> already day two of stationary fest uh, yesterday it went really well I was honestly shocked because it was raining um, I made more money in sales yesterday than I did my best day at Otakon. Um, and Otakon is a much bigger convention. This is just like, this is like the first time Stationery Fest is happening. I knew the Stationery girlies would come out though. 
<laughs> um, and my average, my average, um, like amount, average sale amount was much higher. And my average sale usually around twenty dollars. And yesterday it was, I think it ended up around thirty three, which is much higher than normal because the girlies like stickers. I sold like two hundred sticker sheets. That's Gotta so learn more. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm not singing. <laughs> I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Twerky! One more hour to go. I'm basically sold out of everything. This looks so stupid. <laughs> Hello. It's been a minute since I've done a morning bathroom vlog. <laughs> Um, I barely vlogged Stationery Fest. I really apologize for that, but it was so much fun. So much fun. I can't wait to like talk to you guys about the full breakdown, but I sold a stupid amount of sticker sheets. I sold out of like a lot of my sticker designs, which is kind of a problem because um, I have to like rush order stickers now for Anime NYC. This is a good problem to have. This is a good problem to have, okay? Um, and I made a bunch of friends. It was really nice. I got to meet Aviva who does the washi station. We've worked together before um, I got to meet Linda who they're Mugo Bunny and um, Really funny really nice people um, I hung out with Radia again um, I think Radia and I are friends now, which is fun. I love friends. Um, I don't have a lot of friends in New York City um, and I'm always on the hunt for more, so it was really exciting. I, uh, Raya gave me a hug, so I feel like that means we're friends now. I'm not sure. Um, I chatted with Sonia. I chatted with Thousand Skies. I love Thousand Skies, uh, so felt a little nervous talking to them, but it was really fun. Um, I met, uh, a the manager of a paper press in portland and i'm gonna be in portland in october for um my cousin's wedding so i'm well i'm gonna be in california for her wedding but we're gonna also go to portland <laughs> and so i'm really excited i want to go see the nice paper her business card feels so nice the the nice paper feel ooh, so good my point is i had a really good time um it was so fun meeting so many people i met um, a bunch of my patrons and a bunch of YouTube uh, followers. So thank you so much if you introduced yourself to me and said hi. It really, it feels crazy. <laughs> it feels so cool to get to meet um, people in person, like people that I like. I know by name. A lot of my patrons, I know. I like. I know you guys. I know you by name. So thank you so much for supporting me. I had someone tell me that their friend was a patron but couldn't make it, and they really want me to succeed. And that's so nice. That's so nice. Thank you so much. Um, no, I want to succeed too. <laughs> um, yeah, overall, really, really great time. And I think at like anime conventions, I tend to feel more, um, I guess, like imposter syndrome. I get to, feel, I tend to feel nervous about like talking to people and meeting people. And at Stationery Fest, I didn't really have that. I had a really good time just like chatting and talking to people. And I think part of it is just because I knew everybody was there, like. And like everybody who was there loves fountain pens and loves like notebooks and loves like the same kind of stuff that I love. So it, it like really helps with, you know, the nervousness of talking to people because like you guys know, I'm, I'm introverted. I am, I am not, I don't feel like I'm good at talking to people, <laughs> but so if I was awkward, if you talked to me and I was awkward, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, today is day seven of markets after Otakon and then so three days of Otakon three days of stationary fest and now is my last it's gonna be a little market I don't really have like like high hopes for this market because it's like a little one so I brought my knitting so I'm excited I'm gonna start another pair of socks <laughs> um and they're giving us free food so um I felt exhausted after Otakon and then Monday and Tuesday I did a lot of sleeping so Wednesday I felt okay at stationary fest I felt like pretty energetic again and then Thursday was okay, and then Friday, yesterday, I was like, I can't get out of bed. I'm so tired. And this morning, I also couldn't get out of bed. Also, I think I might be getting sick, so I'm gonna wear a mask today. Um, I'm not sure. I have also just been in contact with a lot of people in the past, like, seven days, so I really hope I'm not getting sick because that would be super inconvenient. 
Um, but my sinuses feel a little funky t- this morning, so I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear a mask. Mask up, kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it was risky. It was a risky move to not to not mask up during Stationery Fest and during Oticon. But I feel like it's just so much easier to talk to people without one. Um, and I've so far been really lucky. So <laughs> fingers crossed, I'm not sick. Eh, maybe if I just sleep all of Sunday, I'll be fine. <laughs> All set up. I don't have a lot of stuff now. But it's fine. It looks fine. This is Marianne's table. Marianne! I'm so tired. But not as tired as you. I texted Marianne this morning saying <laughs> living is overrated. It is. I'm so tired. Look at Marianne's cute little ghost guys. I love, I love him. Him. That's me. Also, look how cute these wind chime earrings are. Bye from Marianne. Dog! Free lunch. And Sonia brought me a try. Thank you. I need the sugar and the caffeine. We're back. So, thank you if you made it all the way through to this um, through this vlog. <laughs> I know it's very long. I'm gonna try and keep my little outro um, nice and brief, but I do want to give you numbers and stuff. I'm pulling up uh, the numbers over on my uh, phone right now on my Square app. So, Otacon, my uh, final thoughts. I will say placement does matter a lot. <laughs> Like I mentioned a bunch of times in the vlog, um, I was quite, I guess, disappointed um, because everyone talked about how it was such a good con and then I thought it was just fine. Um, but in the end, I still, you know, like made a decent amount of money. Um, I made around, uh, <laughs> I made 8.6K in gross sales and I gave 1.4K in discounts. Um, that's because I do a buy two, get one free uh, deal with my prints and my sticker sheets. And I do a buy four, get one free deal with my stickers and bookmarks um, just to help move inventory. And uh, I think for cons, doing deals like that is really helpful because um, a lot of people buy for um, themselves and their friends, you know, so like they can split up, uh, they can split up the purchase and they feel like they're getting a good deal and they are getting a good deal. Like I... Um, I don't raise my prices a ton for a convention, so I end up I do end up losing some money, um, but I think it's worth it to uh, just move inventory along, <laughs> you know. So in the end, my net sales was about 7.2k. I made 331 sales total, and my average sale was around 26 dollars, which is pretty good. Um, I think that overall, when people did make it to my end of like the um, the convention like my area of Artist Alley, I think that when people did make it there, people did buy things. So um, I know I was talking about like maybe my art isn't that good. I think my art is fine. I, I, I you know, as like every artist, I go through like phases of thinking that my art is good and then sometimes thinking my art is like kind of trash. My art is fine. I think it's, I think um, my art is very colorful and it's eye catching um, and that helps at a convention. So yeah. Um, more interestingly, let's talk about <laughs> the count of everything that I sold, all right? My top seller was single stickers, which is pretty average. I sold 181 single stickers, and I sold 100, and my next top seller was prints, small prints. I sold 140 small prints. Um, reminder, again, that uh, this includes the ones that were uh, free, uh, that were part of the deal, so I did not actually earn five dollars for every 181 stickers I earned probably a little bit less than that because um, most people do take advantage of my deals I sold 72 large prints which is pretty good that's a decent amount of weight <laughs> off of all the things I had to bring back and um, I sold a hundred bookmarks which was very exciting I did not think I was going to sell that many bookmarks I cut about 50 bookmarks of each design I had four different designs and I can tell you without a doubt that the uh 
botanical bookshelf was my top seller and then my second top seller for bookmarks was the magnolias the one that everyone calls tulips <laughs> but those are my top two uh bookmarks that sold and then the the uh froggy pride bookmark um doesn't do as well as it used to but i want to keep it in my shop because i don't have that much pride stuff in my shop especially because a bunch of my pride stickers sold out <laughs> at stationery fest which we'll talk about next um so i want to keep that in my shop just to have something for for the pride girlies you know for the queer girlies like me um i actually because i sold out of so many of my pride stickers i'm really excited because next year pride it means i get to make new pride stickers because <laughs> i try not to keep um i try to keep like inventory moving along you know and like designs moving along. So I'm really excited to get to design new ones. <laughs> um, I also sold 45 sun catchers. I debuted a new sun catcher design at Otakon and that one was by far the top favorite sun catcher. I think it's really cute. Again, um, I really love it. It's not in my shop yet. It will be in my shop in September when I do my shop update, which is going to be kind of near the end of September because early September we're doing calendar pre-orders. So yeah, and then um, I sold out of my tote bags. I brought 12. I sold out of them. Um, I brought 11 desk masks, and I sold out of those. Um, I brought 14 hair claws, which is the entire sleeve of hair claws that I showed in the vlog. Sold out of those. Um, I brought half of my hair claws that I had left, and um, they're gone now. I, I don't have any for Anime NYC. I'm still debating if I, need, if I should restock, because I do have two more hair claw designs in my head that I would like to make and I don't know if it's overkill to have three designs in the shop or if I should just wait and just have the two so you guys let me know in the comments um yeah and that's pretty much it uh f uh it was a really fun time I like DC I think DC is a nice city um to get to like explore we didn't do much exploring but in I would like to go to like the Smithsonian the museums um, we didn't have time to go, but you know, maybe next year. Uh, I also think that my, the amount of stuff I'm going to bring to Otakon, if I get in again next year, it's going to really be dependent on my placement now that I know. Um, because I think that if, um, if I were in like the middle aisles, like even just row C to row F ish, if I were in those rows, I think I would have brought I would have sold a lot more stuff, so I would have, I would probably bring more stuff. But um, the amount that I brought for my placement in the back of row H, uh, I brought too much. I think I could have brought maybe like 10 or 15 of each design instead of 25. Um, so, yeah. And then now let's talk about Stationery Fest. So I got two days off, right? And then I had Stationery Fest. Stationery Fest, I had no idea what to expect, okay? I uh, knew that Yoseka has... A cult following. Um, I am one of the cult followers of Yoseka. I love Yoseka. Yoseka, if you don't know, is a stationery store in Greenpoint in Brooklyn, um, and they are Taiwanese owned. So if you like to support a Taiwanese brand, uh, you should support Yoseka. <laughs> Um, they have all sorts of planners and fountain pens and they're just a really lovely store. They're kind of uh, annoying to get to. I don't really like getting to Greenpoint, but you know, if you're in town, if you're in New York and you want to go see like a nice stationery store and you've seen all the ones in Manhattan, um, you should go to Yoseka. It's really nice. Anyway, uh, not sponsored. <laughs> Yoseka. Okay. So Yoseka, uh, put on Stationery Fest and it was their first time doing it. So I had no idea what to expect. There was no like vlogs or history or anything. So I just, because I'm local, I just brought like one big suitcase worth of stuff. And I was like, I'll just, you know, come and grab more stuff as I need it. If I do need it. I ended up needing it. Okay. Um, Stationary Fest was my best, is probably going to be my best market convention. It's not a convention. My best market of the year. Um, I broke five figures <laughs> at Stationary Fest. I did not expect to break five figures. So in total, I made 478 sales. My average sale was about $30, which is higher than normal. Um, like I said, Otakon was around 20, what, $26, I think. And then um, at a typical market, it will usually be around 20. 
I gave $2,500 in comps and discounts, which is, again, my deal. And I can tell you for a fact, the majority of those deals were for sticker sheets. Um, so my net sales in the end was about 12 k um, which is, I was not, ex- I thought that I would maybe make like 1K a day. Um, and my day one, Wednesday, in the middle of the week, okay, the stationary girlies, they come out. Um, in the middle of the week on Wednesday, that was my best day in sales. I made more um, that day than I made on Saturday at Otakon, which is crazy. And then it kind of tapered off a little bit, but I still made a lot of money on Thursday and Friday. I would have thought that maybe like everyone already did their shopping on Wednesday. No. Uh, Yeah, it was just, it was such a good experience too. Uh, I was around a lot of people that I like, um, which helps, you know, I had a lot of friends that were also doing stationary fest. Uh, You guys saw, I got to meet Aviva who does washi station. They are based in uh, LA currently, but they're originally based in Canada. So we love a Canadian girly, you know, just like me. Um, I got to meet Linda who does Mugo bunny and I've always wanted to get to buy Mugo bunny stuff. And, and I get to, I got to meet her. (laughs) I got to meet Linda, um, and that was really cool. I felt a little bit starstruck, but it was fine. Linda was a very normal person, <laughs> and uh, she was really funny. I got to hang out with Radia. Um, I saw Sonia again. Sonia is, um, you know, friend from college who also does art now. <clears throat> I got to meet Thousand Skies. Um, I got to buy stuff from Traveler's Notebook. It was really, it was just all of the, like, little nerdy um stationary people stuff you know it was all there it was so fun um the cross from me there was a loist trim table <clears throat> i'm losing my voice a loist trim table and they were uh doing customized uh loist terms. and i really wanted one even though i never used my loist term <laughs> <laughs> i thought about getting one for my little sister and just like putting something stupid on the cover um but i didn't because i'm responsible anyway so <clears throat> let's give you the count. Okay, overall, I sold 542 sticker sheets, um, which is crazy. So again, I do a buy two, get one free deal on sticker sheets. So uh, I would say that I probably sold just over, like I probably actually made money off of just over two thirds because some people did not take advantage of the deal, um, but most people did take advantage of the deal. And I also sold 659 single stickers, which is why I got cleaned out of stickers. I ended up having to order more for Anime NYC, which is gonna be this coming weekend. Um, You can expect a vlog for that. Uh, I sold 83 washi tapes, which was great. I sold out of my um, Chinese New Year Zodiac washi tape that I've had for a little bit and that was really exciting because those were kind of hard to move in my shop and I sold out of pretty much all my other designs except for my most recent three washi tapes so that's pretty great I'm thrilled (laughs) I'm really thrilled uh it means that I so I keep all of my washi tape in one drawer uh in this organizer behind me um organizer this drawer set behind me and I try to limit the amount of washi that I store to one drawer just because, you know, I live in a small New York City apartment. We can't can't be storing a ton of stuff. So that drawer is basically empty now, which means I get to design more washi. I love designing washi, so I have plans. I'm excited. Um, I sold 38 mystery packs, which is every mystery pack that I brought and had on hand, um, which was really exciting. I'm going to be making more for Anime NYC. Uh, Yeah, I sold 74 bookmarks. Um, I sold out of desk mats, I sold out of hair cloths, I sold out of tote bags that I brought, um, I sold out of my bow plushies, I ended up finding one more bow um, in my suitcase that I had abandoned, so there is one more bow and I'm considering bringing it to Anime NYC or just keeping her or doing a giveaway, I don't know. So yeah, overall, oh and I sold out of my short keychain lanyards, Um, so I made short ones and long ones uh, and I only brought the short ones to Stationery Fest because I felt like that made more sense. Um, long ones are kind of more convention type merch. So I only brought the short ones and I sold out of them. I don't have any more, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, overall stationary fest, incredible. I had such a good time at the end of stationary fest. I did start getting sick and that sucked. (laughs) 
<laughs> and then on Saturday, uh, I was at a small local market that I wasn't expecting to do well. And also it was fine. Like I got free lunch and I hung out with people, got to meet people. Um, I didn't make much money. I think I made like a hundred dollars, um, which is, wait, did I? No, I made, hold on. I can, t I can tell you I made $251 and, uh, which is pretty much exactly the cost of the two Ubers that I took to get there and the table. <laughs> So it wasn't worth it, but it was, it was still fun. Um, final thoughts. Would I do seven days of markets and cons again? No, uh, don't do that stuff back to back. Exhausting. I was so tired. I have never been, I don't think I've ever been more tired in my life. Um, and I went to a very rigorous college, <laughs> uh, where I didn't sleep. Um, but I'm old now and I can't handle it anymore, you know? Um, yeah. So would I do it again? No, I would do Otakon again. And I would definitely do Stationery Fest again if they have if they have me if they ha if they would do it if they do it again next year and they'd have me I would love to do it again. I got to meet, um, so I think I talked about this, but I got to meet so many of my patrons and people who watch my videos and stuff. So hi, if you're watching, um, and I met you, that's so cool. <laughs> um, but it was so nice to get to meet people. Everyone was so friendly. Like I had multiple people come and stop at my table all three days to just chat which was so nice. I like didn't have time to do any vlogging. Uh, so, which is why the vlog is mostly Otakon footage, but I didn't have any time to do any vlogging because everyone was so friendly and I was just chatting with everybody and having such a grand old time and everybody was clutching little traveler's notebooks. And I've pulled out my traveler's notebooks. I have plans to use my traveler's notebooks again. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Overall. Oh my God. Stationary Fest. Such a good time. Uh, I think it's a very specific type of market I think that if you don't have stationery you know like if you don't have a lot of sticker sheets and washi tapes and like things that the stationery girlies like um it's maybe not for you but I as a stationery girly had a grand old time and so many people recognized of course all the people who like stationery would recognize the stationery items on my stationery sticker sheet <laughs> But that was really fun and really exciting. Um, just my little, it made my little, my little stationary girly heart sing, you know? Okay. I think this vlog is quite long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. Um, I think that this vlog was probably a little less funny than the rest of my uh, convention vlogs because I didn't have Marianne there to entertain me because she was busy making bank over in row A at Otakon. <laughs> um... But yeah, I hope you liked it all the same. Um, and I hope that it was informative and helpful. I don't know. Um, if you skipped all the way just to find out the money stuff, I hope that the money stuff was interesting. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're watching this as the video goes, comes out, again, reminder, I have my two plushie Kickstarter. Well, it's one Kickstarter, but I'm, I'm Kickstarting both plushies at the same time. And I love them. And you should get them. They're very soft. And also, I am currently, if you're watching it as the vlog comes out, uh, I'm currently at Anime NYC. So if you are at, are coming to Anime NYC, I am at table IO6. Come and say hi. Um, come and tell me you watch my vlogs. I might give you something for free. <laughs> All right? Okay. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, thank you for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. Love you all. Bye, friends.